Hi guys! In this tutorial, I teach you how to use the new 3D pattern line tools in Marvelous Designer 7. In the next tutorial, we'll cover the avatar line tool and how to use that with flattening to extract patterns from the avatar's body. So what can you do with this 3D pattern line tool? Well, you can draw lines directly on the patterns in the 3D garment window. You can use those lines to extract shapes if the lines are closed, like a shape. Or you can use those lines to cut designs along the edges of clothes, to make reference lines of where you want to cut patterns, and to create internal lines and holes. So let's get started. To make a line on your garment, select this tool here. It's called Line 3D Pattern Tool. Let's say that we want to cut the shirt through the center in a specific ziggity zaggy design. I'm going to click once on the outer edge of the pattern, then click again where I want to put a segment point, and keep clicking like that down this shirt until I reach the bottom. When you want to close a line or internal shape, double click. The line will turn yellow, and now if you want to edit the line, you'll need to switch to the Edit Line tool. This tool here will just create more lines. So let's take the Edit Line tool and see what we can do with this line. If we right click on it, we can either delete it, or we can cut it, cut and sew it, trace it as an internal shape, or convert it to an internal shape. Let's start by seeing what the cut does. If I just click cut, you'll see here, if I hover over these patterns, there are two of them. And if I take my transform tool and I separate them, you can see that it was cut through the center. If I switch to my move tool and then move this pattern apart, you can see here's a cut line. If I check out the sewing, taking my edit sewing tool, you can see there is no sewing here. So let's undo that cut and take our edit line tool, right click and say cut and sew. And now let's transform the pattern. Take our edit sewing tool and here you can see it was now sewn together automatically. Each segment is sewn to another segment. If you want to delete sewing, just click on it and hit delete on your keyboard. Then if we simulate, you can see here, when the sewing was deleted, there's now this big ugly gap. Now let's say we want to delete this line. Well, you can just right click on it and say delete and it's gone. You can also use the line tool to create designs along edges or reference lines where you want to cut your patterns. So for instance, let's double click and let's say we want our shirt to be open like this. Well, there's two things we can do. We can either take our edit line tool, right click, and say cut, take our transform pattern tool here, move this bit away, delete it, or you could not do anything with this line, and then you could go in here on your pattern, take your split line tool, add points, move your points, add another point in the center, and create that opening according to that line. If you want to change this line, use the Edit Line tool and click on any of the points to move it, stretch it. If you want to add more points, use the 3D Pattern Line tool and simply double click where you want to add another point. Then when you edit it, you can move that point around. Let's take a look at creating shapes and holes using this tool. So I'm going to take the 3D Pattern Line tool and let's say we want to create a nice square here in her belly. Maybe for a pocket or for just a decorative hole. So if you just click and drag, you can see the lines aren't really perfectly horizontal or vertical. If you want them to be perfectly horizontal or vertical, hold down Shift and click and then hold down Shift, click, Shift. And as you can see, this one is not quite straight. If I hold down shift to go up to here, and then I can come in here and close it off. Double click. Now take the edit line tool. And now let's turn this into an internal shape. You could either trace it as an internal shape. And what that will do it is it will give you an internal shape on top of that baseline. So you still have that grey line and you have an internal shape that you can do stuff with. 
If you don't want this line and you just want an internal shape from it, you can right click and say convert to internal shape. And now if we move that, you can see there is no gray line, there is just this internal shape. And then with the internal shape, you can do all kinds of things, such as convert to hole, and then you've got a hole there, clone is pattern, then you've got a pattern which you can sew onto this hole, like some kind of a flap. Now as you can see, although we held down shift and we made what looks like a straight pocket on the avatar's body, in reality it's not, it's sort of like stretched out in the bottom, narrow in the top. If you want to create a perfectly square pocket, it's better not to use the 3D pattern line tool, but just to use an internal square, draw the square where you want it, change it, resize it, shrink it, move it around, and then do the same thing with it. Convert it to a hole if you want it to be a hole, clone its pattern, sew it up, and have that perfect square. So let's say you want to cut the shirt through the center in a sort of wavy shape. Well, with the 3D pattern line tool, you can only create sharp corners. You can't create smooth, rounded shapes. If you want to create a rounded shape, it's a lot of work and it doesn't really end up looking rounded. You have to click many, many times. Mm, there, it closed that off a mistake. Start again. Click many times close together to create some kind of a rounded shape. Or you just make the basic design that you want. Then convert it to an internal shape and then start working on that internal shape to make it more rounded. Take your curve tool, work on those curves. And all these little jagged points here, select them, holding down shift. And then right click, convert to curve point. And you can see it's sort of a, well, lumpy curve. So then you have to go in with your curve tool, start deleting points you don't want to smooth it out. And then going back in with your curve tools, adding points, curving it. To create that kind of a curved line that you might have in mind. By the way, the reason why it looks so ziggity zaggedy here is because of the high particle distance. So if we reduce that to say 8, you can see it's much smoother. I personally think that an easier way to create... Hold on a second. Let's pull this fabric out of here. There we go. To create curved lines is by simply using the internal line tool. Creating that line you want. Moving it into position. You can also click on the garment where you want to create a line. Then look at where that picking point is. And then move it a bit closer. And then create all your curve points as desired, etc. Instead of first creating a sort of angular line, then having to convert it to an internal line, and then changing the points, adding points, curving it, etc. It's much faster to simply do it with the internal line tool. And if you want to cut that, that's very simple too. Just right click, you say cut or cut and sew. And there you've got your two patterns. The same with creating internal circles, whether you want to make holes or designs. Using this 3D pattern line tool, it's really difficult to make a circle. And a lot of work fixing it up afterwards. When instead you could just use the internal circle tool and draw out a perfect circle. Hold down shift to constrain it or just drag it out to create any shape circle you want. Same goes for diamonds, if you want to create a diamond. Creating it with this tool is rather difficult, because you don't even have any guides, like the high textures here. If we want to create a diamond here using the internal line tool, at least we have a grid, which we can reference. You can also hold down shift and slide it along different axes. Hold down shift again, and you can see that nice purple line appearing when it's aligning beneath the other point. And there was that pink-purple line appearing 
when it reached this line, and there we can create a nice diamond. And then we can transform it to squeeze it, squish it, etc. Whereas this diamond here, created with the 3D line tool, see one side is higher than the other, one line is longer than the other one, and it's not very nice. It's a lot more work to fix it up than to just create a nice shape to begin with using one of the internal tools, all by using the dot tool to create a nice diamond. Dots automatically make these holes, so if you want to create an internal line instead of a dart hole, just right click on that and convert to internal shape. And there we've got a much nicer diamond than this crooked one. If you don't want to see your 3D pattern lines, you can go here and click this button to show or to hide them. You can also go to the display menu, 3D garment, and hide, hide the 3D lines by clicking this button. And the same thing with the 2D pattern. Show 3D lines, we'll hide it. So that's basically how to use the 3D pattern line tool. I personally will not be using it much, as I think you have a lot more control when using internal lines directly in the 2D pattern window. But if you like to draw on your clothes and you have something specific in mind, which is not too rounded, just something rough, some kind of line that you want to do, or just some basic lines where you want to later add some designs or cut things, you can use this tool as a quick sketching tool on your garment and then refine it in the 2D pattern window. Alright, so I hope this tutorial helps you and see you in the next one.